Hey guys, Hot Rod 08 here, and welcome to a new episode of Support Craft, where we take a look at new, possibly unconventional builds for support champions during Season 8. Now, for this video, it's not going to be uh, a really an unconventional build, more as an unconventional uh, support pick that I've had a lot of fun with and has actually been doing really well for me, and that is going to be Support Cho'Goth. Now, before we get any further into this build, if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, I urge you to subscribe as we're coming out with brand new videos on a weekly basis that is featuring support focused content, and I would love to have your continued support to the channel. Now, let's get straight into this. The goal of this build is to provide Cho'Goth as much durability as you possibly can with as little resources that you get into the support wall, while simultaneously getting his health up as fast as possible with his ultimate um, stacks. Our primary path we're going to be taking is the Resolve path, and the secondary path we're going to be taking is the Sorcery path, and together it provides Cho'Goth an additional 65 health as well as 10 ability power. Our primary keystone we're going to be going with is Guardian, which is going to provide a shield for both you and your ally in the laning phase, as well as some movement speed if either of you take damage and are close to each other. Then our greater room we're going to be going with is going to be Fawn of Life, which is going to provide extra healing for all of your allies on anyone that you hit either your Q with or uh, slow them down with your E. And since Cho'Goth gets a crap ton of health uh, during the game, that can stack up really nicely for your allies. Um, if the enemies have a lot of CC though, you can switch that to unflinching just so you can get yourself out of some sticky situations. And then for our lesser runes, we're going to be going with Conditioning and Overgrowth. Conditioning is going to provide Cho'Goth an additional 8 armor and magic resist at the 10 minute mark, plus an uh, increase of 5% extra on both of those. And then Overgrowth is going to be permanently um, making your maximum health higher as uh, more and more minions die around you so it stacks really nicely with Cho'Goth's um, stacks that he can get up and he can get just a crap ton of extra health from overgrowth by itself. And then for our secondary runes we're going to be taking the ultimate hat and transcendence. The ultimate hat um, is going to provide Cho'Goth's ultimate um, a lot of extra cooldown reduction um, that is going to let you uh, further increase your stacks faster. I suggest um, what I do with Ultimate Hat is as soon as I get at level 6, as long as it doesn't look like I'm going to be um, getting a kill anytime soon on the laners, I'll just uh, immediately um, gnaw down on a minion and get that uh, Ultimate Hat stack um, up faster, as well as provide Cho'Goth his own stack so you can get... Um, up to the six maximum uh, minion stacks pretty fast using ultimate hat. And then in order to add more cooldown reduction, I get transcendence, which provides him 10% cooldown reduction once you hit level 10. Um, you also can take um, celerity if you really want to. It gives him extra movement speed, which is nice for him to catch up to enemy champions. So celerity is definitely another viable option if you don't want to take transcendence here. And as for the items we're going to be going with, we're going to be starting off with Relic Shield, followed by three health pots. If you think you can get away with it, you can also go your refillable potion. When you get back to base, uh, you're going to want to upgrade uh, your Relic Shield to Targon's Brace and get your regular Boots of Speed. And then your first item you're going to want to complete, you're going to want to upgrade to Remnant of the Aspect since it adds a lot of health as, as well as uh, brings down the cooldown of how often you're able to use that passive ability and make get gold. Then our item after that, you're going to want to get Righteous Glory because it adds additional health, uh, some mana, uh, and some uh, cooldown reduction, armor, and then gives you a speed up ability that you can uh, slow down your enemies and catch up to them, which makes it a lot easier to gnaw down them with your ultimate as well. Then our next item <clears throat> we're going to get is Lock of the Iron Solari, which is going to add some nice armor and magic resist to what you have already and provide a massive uh, AOE shield to all of your allies that are around you. Then next we can get our Gargoyle Stone Plate, which is going to add a lot more armor and magic resist to Cho'Goth. And it's going to provide even more uh, armor and magic resist if you're surrounded by three or more enemies. So it's a really good item to have in team fights. Uh, between having these three items and at least having... Uh, six stacks if you get all of your uh minion stacks up pretty fast as well as you know, you continue getting uh stacks from baron dragons and champions 
unlimited. Uh, but between all of this, you can become extremely durable as a, um, actually, you know, at that point, you're basically a primary tank. You're not even a secondary tank as a, a support champion. So between these three, it uh, provides a really good durability for Cho'Goth. And then after that, it's whatever um, item you want to complete. That's just all team dependent um, on your team, how you're doing, and as well as what you're facing. It'll change between every single game. And finally, as for our abilities, we're going to be leveling up. We're going to put a point in Q at your first level, followed by your W at your second level, and then E at your third level. Then you're going to want to max out your W first, then your Q, and then finally end off finishing off your E. And that'll be it for this video, guys. If you enjoyed, please comment, like, and subscribe below, and I'll see you next time. Thanks so much. Bye.